So to charge an electroscope, we have to either put electrons in or take them out. In the method of conduction, our charged rod touches the knob of the electroscope and the electroscope becomes the same charge as the rod. Touching it with a negative would make the electroscope negative. Touching it with a positive would pull electrons out and make it positive. There's a second method of charging called induction. In the method of induction, the charged rod does not touch the electroscope. And we end up with an electroscope being charged the opposite charge of the charged rod. Here's how this works with a negatively charged PVC pipe. I rub the PVC pipe with fur, the PVC pipe picks up electrons from the fur and becomes negatively charged. When I hold the rod above the electroscope, electrons are repelled away from the rod. If I bring my finger close by at the same time, I've created a path for electrons to actually leave the electroscope. They are being repelled from the electroscope into my body, into the ground. So I ground the electroscope with my finger while the charged rod is near. This is forcing electrons out of the electroscope, making the electroscope positive. When I take my finger and the rod away at the same time, the needle will deflect because the needle and the stem are both positive. One way to know that the needle actually is positive is to bring the negatively charged rod close by. If it pushes electrons down into the stem and into the needle until it becomes neutral, the needle will go back to its original position. As I bring the rod close by, more electrons are being forced down into the positive needle and positive stem, making them both neutral, and the needle goes back. When I take the rod away, the electrons redistribute themselves and the needle deflects. So the electroscope is now positively charged. In order to make it neutral, I bring my finger by it, I ground it, and electrons are pulled from the ground into my body, into my finger, into the electroscope until it becomes neutral again. If we wanted to make the electroscope negatively charged by induction, we would have to use a positively charged glass rod. Again, this isn't going to work, but I'll still go through the steps. The positively charged glass rod would be brought near the knob of the electroscope. It would attract electrons up to the knob. If you ground it at the same time, the positively charged electrons would a positively charged glass rod would pull electrons from my finger into the knob. So electrons are actually coming into the electroscope, making the electroscope negative. When you pull your finger and the rod away at the same time, the needle would deflect because the shaft and the needle are both negatively charged. In order to make it neutral, I would ground it with my finger, letting those extra electrons go out of the electroscope, into my hand, back into the ground. So the method of induction allows us to get a positively charged rod using a, ne a, po a positively charged electroscope using a negatively charged rod.